go ahead. Okay, so this is the new Galaxy S4. Going overview quickly about uh, the fit, uh, how it looks aesthetically. It has more sensors added. As you know, they added temperature. They added more, uh, more sensors around. It has also come five inch screen, it's bigger than Galaxy S3. Still didn't manage to go grow more bigger, so this is better. Uh, has a, a polycarbonate-like look finish. You can see better on the back, it's like these dots. Polycarbonate made. Uh, the flash has been switched to the bottom instead of the side as it was in the S3, well as well as the speaker is now in the bottom. Uh, the sides looks thinner, as you can see, more polished aluminum look. It has also uh, oh, volume buttons over here, power button over here. But one of the new additions next uh, out to the headphone jack, we got the infrared. So one of the things you can do with infrared is that. I really like it a lot, so now instead of getting a universal remote, you can do everything with your GS4. It comes with an application called Samsung Watching. So what this application is going to do is going to let you know, see if we're connected over here. Okay. You can do it later. So what this does is it actually updates at time what they're showing on TV. So Thursdays at 8.30, what they show on CBS is Two and a Half Men, right after Big Bang Theory. So here it is. So if I wanted to watch Two and a Half, two and a half Men, I just press over here, and it's going to switch my TV to the channel where the CBS where they show um, Two and a Half Men. So also it shows me Mandis Cooper, all the programs that are showing on TV available at 8.30 as well. You can see what's upcoming next so you can have an idea. Now the cool feature also it has is that it integrates with services like Netflix. So and all the integrated devices from the internet. So let's say if I want to watch uh, Tom Cruise Mission Impossible 1, right? Yeah. Cool thing is it describes me, puts me the good likes, thumbs up, thumbs down, Rotten Tomatoes rating right over there, you can add your favorite. Gives you a description, the cast and crew, and even what related movies you can watch. So now the cool feature about this is that when you press watch now, it's gonna be giving me all the sources that is available. So instead of me looking in my Netflix account that is available or is it not, so I just can go here, look for the movie, and it's going to tell me it's available, for example, rent on Media Hub, or you can rent it on Blockbuster Online, or you can also buy it with Samsung Media Hub. So that's one of the cool features that the new Galaxy S4 has. Also, one of the apps they have added, it's called um, s Help, which is over here. And then you can drop yourself around and see the scale. But it's good. this is going to be integrated with some accessories that Samsung will be releasing. Like the scale we got over there, we're also going to be releasing um, a wristbands to monitor your heart rate. And it also monitors how many steps you've taken, like they, they, they show on the presentation. So on the also on the hardware, now, like I mentioned, it has humidity, sensors, and temperature sensors. So now it's checking in. It's checking the, the condition as you can see that it updates at the moment. So if you, I press here, it's going to be checking it out. So after it does all the measurement, it's going to tell me if the conditions around me are optimum for my health or if they're not. So it's going to put a sad face if it's not, it's going to put a green face with a smile, everything is a go. So right now it's updating, but it's going to also you can integrate how many calories you're intaking so you can add what are you eating. So. It's basically to integrate the phone with your life because you're always with the phone on hand. So, other are the calories you have burned. You can check everything if you're running, you're walking, or you can even um, also do an exercise. You can monitor everything. Now on the camera, which is all the other features that the phone has, the camera now, as they mentioned, has with a dual camera feature. So what dual camera basically does, is gonna let you use the same cameras, two cameras at the same time. So if I press it over here on, I'm gonna be able to see the other camera. So, so you can see over here, and you can resize it. Put a bigger, you can put a smaller. Put yourself in the corner, put yourself in the middle. So you're gonna be able like to photo tell what you're doing or what you're watching. So it's really nice. Also, the dual camera works in chat on. It was a Samsung uh, uh, native app for, for IM messaging between platforms. So it's good. you're going to be able to do the same thing. You're going to be able to watch the person you're talking to. You're going to be too able to watch yourself and turn on the camera. So you're Times Square, look where I'm at, they see you. Instead of doing like showing yourself and then putting the camera, you can show at the same time and they can see you. So they can see your impressions, the face expressions. Also, they has, it comes with different uh, new modes for picture taking. 
All you gotta do is you press the mode, and it's, these are popular ones. It's a Galaxy Hammer that has, that has Night, Best Foot, Best Photo, Best Faces, which is already popular ones. But the new ones are Sound and, and Shot. So Sound and Shot, what it does, is gonna let you take the picture but record a sound as well. Sometimes you take a picture of somewhere, and then when you send it to somebody, you gotta send a paragraph to explain what you just seen. And, then, and in this case, you just take the picture and say, I'm right here at Radio City Hall, it's this, this big, and da 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 da. Also, it has a drama shot which takes up to 100 frames and then a couple of seconds. So, it's gonna let you, it's gonna merge everything and put like a whole action shot. So, it's really nice. You can see the shadow uh, following the action. Also, it has a cinema photo. So, what cinema photo is that you, you, you put yourself in Times Square, you can freeze yourself, but record a video of the people walking back. In the background so it's really nice and you look like probably like a hot wars picture or something like that from Harry Potter where everything moves except also you're gonna be able to do is an eraser eraser is really nice when you're taking also in high crowded places you want to take the picture picture somebody just jumps and walks on in your background so you're gonna be able to erase that person from the background so it's also Another cool feature the uh, the camera offers 30 megapixels, like I mentioned. Uh, the quality of the front camera is amazing, as you can see. So it looks pretty nice and neat, very sharp. So it's a, a great added value now for video chat and, and taking self pictures. Uh, also, an integrated Samsung apps has been redesigned and added more features. Like you can download uh, exclusive releases for Samsung. And if the application you're looking for is not available on Samsung apps, it's going to redirect you and let you know that you can go to the Google Store to, to re-download your application. So you're going to see, going to be able to see what uh, are, what is trending, what's the premium show, is also the charts, what is the top, top download, top free, top new. And then you can also go to, thanks to Samsung Hub, then you can also see the watch, download your games and music. So Samsung Hub, which is here, let me take you over here. Samsung app. It's going to integrate everything. So instead of you going to buy a book on one app, buy a music in another one, buy movies in another one, you're going to be able to see everything over here. So here you are. This is the home home screen. It's going to pick one of each to show you what's trending or what's being highlighted. But if you go to the side, you're going to be able to see video, music, books, or even games. So then if you go to games, you're going to be able to see game store and see more more in depth what, what you're looking for. So, looks really nice and neat. Uh, also the phone has, uh, let's see what else. There's some more S apps, right? S huh? Translator and S uh, S S Translator, yeah. S, you got S Translator, which is, uh, is integrated uh, with, uh, you can integrate it with the email. We got also redesigned the S Voice, which is uh, the previous one. So probably this now it's very crowded, so it's not gonna listen to me. Well, it's supposed to, but you can also have the, the feedback disabled. So, go back here again. I'm scanning over here. So, one of the things that you see all the uh, all the commands you can do. What you can do with a different command search, report voice, look for the weather. And that works in a lot of different languages around the world, right? Yeah, as voice you can configure it to different languages. So if you speak Spanish or you speak German, you can just go ahead and change it. And it's gonna talk to you in the conversation with S voice gonna be on your on your selected languages. Uh, the link. So Samsung Link is gonna be uh, basically integrating all your devices all together so you can share your content with your devices so you can see over here like when you also play if that was uh, introduced with the Galaxy S3 so this is basically the newer version so you can you're gonna be able to just synchronize and stream from one from one device to computer or from one device to the other one Samsung video over here, so it's, it's basically a central for all the videos you're taking. So one of the things it has. But that's been available, right? Or huh? Is that new or has it been? It's, a, it's an improved video player. Instead of it, it, before, it was just uh, the gallery. But you can see, for example, one of the cool things you can see the dual cameras right on functions. You can see this. 
with the Seeky cameras working around. And now another cool feature the phone has, I'm going to just put on lock screen, but the air view. Uh, if you're familiar with the, the Galaxy Note 2, you can do air view with the S Pen, but now you can do it with your fingers. So, if you, as you see my fingers swiping, you can notice it glows. So that's part of the air view feature. So with the air view feature, you're going to be able to do preview of the screen. Let's say if I'm here in a gallery. So if I want to see what images I got, I just put my finger nearby and I'm going to be able to see what's in the album. Uh, also as well, I can, after I select it, one of the things it has is an air gesture. So air gesture, what it lets me do is, allows me to swipe from one picture to the other one. So instead of putting my finger, just, just move away my hand. Also take a chance to look at the screen, looks gorgeous, looks amazing with all the colors, all the contrast. So you can do all that. So this is the Galaxy S4, I hope you enjoyed it. And get it as soon as it releases, okay? <laughs>